as you know, my lab studies T regulatory cells, which their main function is to regulate other cells in the immune system. So in the context of type 1 diabetes, what is causing the damage to the insulin producing beta cells are the T cells, which are part of the immune system. So these regulatory cells have been shown to control these types of responses. So when we're talking about adoptive Treg therapy in the context of type 1 diabetic patients, what we're saying is we want to give Treg cells to the patient, and in this case it can either be the patient's own cells or cells from another individual. The Treg cells are not the cells that are causing the destruction of the beta cells, but what, we're hap what we want is normally in the immune system you have a balance between an effector response versus a regulatory response. So in type 1 patients, what happens is you have more of an effective response and regulation is lost for several reasons. So we want to give these Treg cells because we want to now have the balance tip this way where we have more regulation to the effector response. There's many labs that are trying to do adoptive Treg therapy where they take the patient's cells and they expand them in the culture dish and then they give them back to the patients. How my lab's research kind of differs from those other groups is we're trying to understand the environment that's going to be inside the patient that's going to make a supportive environment to support the Treg compartment. Our animal models have shown that when we can control transplantation tolerance or acceptance of a transplant, we can also control um, autoimmunity in those mice. Treg regulatory cells are thought once they become activated, you can get bystander suppression. So kind of forcing this tolerance to the transplant tissue also in our experimental models also caused um, restoration of uh, self-tolerance where we no longer had autoimmunity or prevented the autoimmunity in that situation. So we have found that T-Regs can do both. I work closely with Dr. Um, Tom Malik and Alberto Pugolisi and they're focusing a lot on uh, low-dose IL-2 as a therapy to boost the Treg cells. IL-2 is an important molecule for Treg cell um, growth and maintenance as well as their function. So we um, are trying to boost the patient's own Treg cells without having to adoptively give them new Treg cells. Mm -hmm. So there's been some positive outcomes in a trial in France with David Klatzman's work and Alberto and Tom also work closely with his lab as well as trying to develop a clinical trial. So we all talk to each other and try to understand what's going on so that our work can benefit each other.